In the previous video, we saw the direct indirect and variable fixed cost classifications. So, we can say that costs can be direct variable, direct fixed, indirect variable and indirect fixed. Say we have a factory that is producing road bikes. The carbon fiber material used in producing the bike frames is a direct variable cost. It is a direct cost because the carbon fiber can be easily traced to the bike. In other words, we can say that each bike frame requires X kilograms of carbon fiber. Also, it is a variable cost because as the number of bikes produced changes, the amount of carbon fiber used in producing the frames changes proportionately. Lubricants used when assembling the road bikes are indirect variable costs. They are indirect because lubricants cannot be easily traced to the bike. It would be extremely difficult to determine the share of each bike from the lubricants. But they are variable costs because as the number of bikes assembled changes, the amount of lubricants used changes proportionately. The salary of the bike assembler who does nothing else other than assembling the bikes is a direct fixed cost. It is a direct cost because the assembler is fully assigned to the bike assembly task. However, it is a fixed cost because the assembler receives fixed salary payments each month regardless of the number of the bikes he assembles monthly. The factory rent where various models of road bikes are produced is an indirect fixed cost. It is an indirect cost because it cannot be easily traced to the various models of the bikes produced. And it is a fixed cost because rent is a fixed payment that is made periodically regardless of the number of bikes produced in that factory.